Conservative talk show host Dennis Prager made a pretty wild revisionist claim comparing anti-vaxxers to the 80s AIDS crisis. He pretended as if he didn't know that gay individuals in this country were demonized relentlessly during the AIDS epidemic. And so here he is making this ridiculous claim. If we survive this as a free country, historians will just ask, how did this happen? How did people get governed by irrational fears? Whether whether it is of, of the non-vaccinated who, who are the pariahs of America, as I have not seen in my lifetime, any pariah group like uh, like this. During the AIDS crisis, can you imagine if, if gay men and intravenous drug users who were the vast majority of people with AIDS, had they been uh, pariahs the way the, the non-vaccinated are? But it would have been inconceivable and it should have been inconceivable. They should not have been made pariahs. Hmm. But, uh, but yeah. this is well, kosher, this yeah. is okay, you can make the non-vaccinated. So uh, it, it's a different well, America. Uh, yeah, I actually can't imagine them being treated as pariahs because they were in fact treated as pariahs. Something that I would venture to say Dennis Prager is pretty aware of, but either he's pretending not to know the truth or he has memory loss or is incredibly dumb, I don't know. But either one of those options, not so great. Let me tell you what the reality is. Prager's alarming revisionism compares some Americans who refused to be inoculated during a public health emergency to people who were denied medical care, ostracized by society and demonized under homophobic, administrations and public policies that once defined AIDS as a gay plague and gay related immunodeficiency disease. In fact, TPM's Josh Marshall continued to set the record straight saying, indeed, gay men with AIDS were such pariahs that a big vehicle for AIDS action was the tragic story of a young boy named Ryan White who died of AIDS. White was so key because as a child who contracted AIDS, I believe through a blood transfusion, he served as a symbol for the tragedy of AIDS while being blameless because gay men were A, pariahs, and B, were seen by many as having brought the disease on themselves. I know I shouldn't be shocked, but good Lord, this is quite a take from Prager. And by the way, gay men are still ostracized by certain things. So gay men still unable to donate blood and plasma despite new FDA guidelines. Here's why. And of course, it's the same kind of thinking that dates back to the AIDS crisis. Josh Marshall also made another great point where he said, there's another giant difference here where in the AIDS crisis, gay men were desperately trying to seek medical care. And the government wouldn't sanction funding for that medical care. In this case, we're trying to give medical care to the right wing. And they're like, well, I don't want it, man. I don't want your stupid medical care. So that's a giant, giant difference. So, but they, I, I'm genuinely curious whether Prager is, has like early onset dementia or if he like goes afterwards and goes <laughs> because how could you not know that gay men were ostracized and and treated as pariahs i mean it's not like prager is a spring chicken he lived through it uh, so right. i mean i no. lived through it i anna you mm-hmm. might not remember as much but like i was i was i don't think i was born i was born in 86 so okay um, well, okay it was in that well, ballpark was right? yeah you were yeah. too young so like there was such mass paranoia. They're like, "Oh, you can't go where gay people are going to go. They sit on the toilet seat, and you could pick it up from the toilet seat." Mike, based on nonsense, as usual. And by the way, who led that paranoia? Conspiracy theories, as always, the right wing. Okay, and so now he's like, "Oh, the unvaccinated are treated like pariahs." Because guys, I know it's hard for you to comprehend, but. In this case, the disease is spread through you breathing on people, talking near people, singing near people, etc. Right? In AIDS, it was spread through bodily fluids. So if people with AIDS went around throwing their bodily fluids on people, yes, they, they then would be treated as pariahs. 
Like, wait, wait, don't throw your bodily fluids on me. I can get AIDS that way. Or if non gay people did that, right? But they didn't. They were like, please help us. Please give us medical care. In this case, we're like, oh, yeah, we're mouth breathers and we're going to breathe all over you. I don't care, man. That's not being a pariah, it's being a jackass. Yeah, and look, if, if I can recall correctly, one of the uh, first moments of uh, our former colleague, Dave Rubin, flipping over to the dark side was through Prager University, right? Where he claimed he was leaving the left because he was so tired of the oppression Olympics that was taking place among the left, right? He's talking about various disenfranchised groups of people and what they've experienced through systemic racism or sexism and, you know, homophobia and all of that. And it's just really fascinating to see Dennis Prager engage in oppression Olympics, claiming that individuals who refuse to be vaccinated are being oppressed by society, that they have been made pariahs, such pariahs that it pales. I mean, what what the gay community went through in the 80s and pales in comparison to what these poor, poor anti-vaxxers are experiencing. I mean, come on, just give me a break, really. My favorite part was like, could he, what he kept saying over and over, could you imagine if they did this during yes. it? Yes, yeah, we can imagine, <laughs> we can imagine. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.